let's use your brain on postmodernism. I saw someone the other day say that sex is a social construct. Um, and somebody else responded, no, um, male and female are real physical conditions. And that's how beings who sexually reproduce, reproduce. So no, sex is not actually a social construct. And he said, uh, no, moron, classifier precedes classification. You cannot have a classification without a classifier. And I love this example because it is such a great example of postmodern st stupidity in that, yes, it is true. You have to have a classifier before you can have a classification in that before I say there's the category cat and there's the category floor and there's the category laptop, I have to exist to be making these, these classifications. But that's why it's also stark raving, both stupid and crazy, because the physical conditions that lead me to categorize precede me. Does this guy think that granite and quartz didn't exist before somebody said this is granite and this is quartz? Yes, the terms quartz and granite didn't exist until somebody made them up. Yes, of course. But that doesn't mean that quartz and granite didn't exist in the first place. Why are people so stupid? And it's not just, it's not just, I want to be really clear that I am not being sort of elitist when I say, why are people so stupid? In terms of, I once had a philosophy. In fact, I think most PhDs in philosophy are remarkably insane and stupid. I think it's, it's, it's like, well, I had this, I had this PhD philosopher who shared an, who had an office right next to mine back when I was at Eastern Washington University. And I used to routinely go in and talk with him. I don't know why. Um, I probably had some, some, I had to undergo unpleasant activities because I had some guilt I had to expiate or something from a previous lifetime. Anyway, um, so I would sometimes go in and chat with the guy and he would say things like, Whales have no inherent value because humans are the only creators of value and therefore whales only have the value that humans give to them. And if I don't give something value, then it has no value. And I always wanted to take a hammer into his office and smash him in the hand and say, look, you know, no matter what you declare, not getting hit in the hammer with a, not getting hit in the hand with a hammer has value. And this is really, the reason that this is really important is because this is one of the reasons this culture is killing the planet, is because of the belief that if humans don't give value to something, then it has no value. And so the only value that a tree ends up having is the value that in this case, capitalism can give to it. And there is no inherent value in a forest and if a human doesn't go into the forest then that forest has no value because there's no uh, classifier to classify it as a forest and I'm just a uh, thing that is, is extraordinary to me is yes on one level this way of perceiving in the world propagates itself because it gives you competitive advantage over everybody else because while some other culture is going you know, that whole tree is important to the forest and this tree is important to the forest and the forest has value of its own and they're respecting it. You meanwhile are cutting down the whole thing and turning it into engines of war because that has value to you. So that's one of the reasons this is important. And also one of the reasons it's important is because it's just a clear manifestation of the utterly insane and completely physically unsupportable notion that humans, again, are the only ones who assign or create value. And I wrote about this in The Myth of Human Supremacy, that if, you, if, you, if I ask you right now, what are the five most beautiful pieces of art in the world? You know, you might say the Sistine Chapel, you might say um, the Mona Lisa, you know, you might say whatever great pieces of art you could think of. How many of you would say, um, 
trees in New England in the fall, how many of you would say uh, the sound of wind in the tops of a coniferous forest? How many of you would say the Grand Canyon? How many of you would say, and the reason people would say all of those, not say all of those, is because those aren't works of art. Those are just natural. So wait, are you telling me the Grand Canyon was not created by the Colorado River? Are you telling me that the Colorado River didn't create one of the most beautiful and gigantic pieces of art in the world? You really wanna say that? And so this leads to a devaluing of everything that is natural. For God's sake, how much more devalued can you get than somebody saying that sex is a social construct? There goes hundreds of millions of years of evolution. And so the, so if I were to go, this is your brain on postmodernism, and then to actually manifest that, like they did in the old, this is your brain on drugs videos, I would just have to go, this is your brain on postmodernism. And then I would have to start spewing all sorts of nonsense. And then somebody would have to give me a tenured position at a university. <laughs>